Greetings, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Chester, England, outside of Liverpool. And today we're continuing our series about talking about travel with locals. We have our buddy Chevs here, who lives here by Liverpool, and he's going to help us know a few more things that tourists should know about Liverpool that they might not know. But first, Chevs, please introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Chevs, Chevs the Wanderer. You might know me as broadcaster, podcaster, and a travel writer as well. So I'm And great hair too. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. I'm, I'm, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm delighted to be here, Mark. It's a honor to be on Walt as well. Yeah. So as someone come to Liverpool, because for those of you know, I've been to Liverpool recently, and Shebs and I have done podcasts together, and we've been friends for a little bit, and he's like, hey, are you in town? And he's like, let's get them together. And it was really cool, because he gave me some really good tips, and I think there's things that you really should know. So what is something that typically doesn't show up in a travel guide about Liverpool or the area? Like, what would be something that you, you should do if you were here? You can come to Liverpool, a lot of people will do the Beatles Museum, which is a very, very... Touristy? Oh, yeah, very touristy. <laughs> However, I would suggest, not many people know about this, but Williamson Tunnel, it's a hidden gem. It's, we still don't know why it was done, it's a mystery, but it was done by Joseph Williamson back in the 19th century, and if you go there, you'll see tunnels and chambers, and it's a, it's a remarkable site. I'm telling you, it is one of the hidden gems of Liverpool, so definitely go there when you come to Liverpool. Cool, so what's something else you think we should do if we come here as a traveler? Well, the the most obvious thing, if you come to Liverpool, is go see a football match or a soccer match. Of course! As you'd say. So Liverpool Football Club are the biggest club in the world, really. They have been one of the most successful English clubs in the in the world, league title-wise as well. If you five Champions League? Mm -hmm. They've won five or six Champions League. Six, yeah. They've won 19 league titles. One behind my team, actually, Manchester United. <laughs> but don't tell people you're cheering. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can come watch a football match. And then I, I would suggest the best time to come watch a football match is around about the spring. You get the best weather, either spring or uh, early autumn. Okay. And believe it or not, people from all around the world just come to see a match. Scandinavians are very notoriously known for flying over just for the weekend and spend thousands just to watch a football match or something. So yes. I would suggest a football match is, a, is, is, is a one thing you have to do when you come to Liverpool. Yeah, and if you're going to be here, one thing you know is they actually do tours to the stadiums too. They do, so you yeah. can put that together. So if you're here and they're not playing, yeah. But what's cool is Liverpool has two teams. You got Liverpool yeah, and Everton. Yes. Everton. So then you have a chance to see something. Exactly. Cool. Everton is slightly more easier <laughs> to get into because they're not as. <laughs> well, once upon a time, Everton were one of the best teams. Well, in we were alive, yes, but <laughs> I, obviously over time things have changed. Yeah. And stuff, but uh, maybe they'll come back one day. But Liverpool is the team to watch. They've got some of the biggest players in the world and one of the best managers in the world, one of the coaches in the world. So definitely come see a soccer match or football match. Cool. So whenever people go around traveling, they always want to like, where should I eat or what other things should I do? Is there, is there something like eating wise that people should know about Liverpool? Like where they should go? Yeah. Eat? Every city has its place to eat, and Liverpool is no different. Ball Street in Liverpool has all the restaurants that you need. You've got Indian restaurants, of course, which is very, very famous in the UK. You've got Italian, Mexican, you name it, all different kinds of food you can have there. They're a bit pricey, so it's a bit pricey, and sometimes I would say the food isn't as good as to say if you go to a smaller place outside of the city. Now, when I say outside the city, mm -hmm. I mean go outside and go to a place like New Brighton, yeah. where there is, we well, can go there, there's a beach there you can go to. Nice little beach, too. Nice little, nice little beach. beach. Yeah, nice little beach. And Mark, you came? Yeah, I was, I was there, that's what I said. Nice little beach. And we took, I took you to one of the restaurants, yeah. and one of the bars, and the food was great. Yeah. And it and was, it was <laughs> nothing compared to the price of Ball Street. Street. That yes. was for sure. So, Ball Street is very touristy, everyone comes. The whole world is there really, in terms of restaurant. However, you can get authentic local food. The re re reason why I say it's more authentic is because they go to cater to the locals. The locals have to come back. Ball mm. Street, again, people will come by, they'll see them, and the, they'll go away. The Scandinavians will come, yeah, spend yeah, the money, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll go, yeah. So they're not, the food isn't as good, I would say, as going to a 
a local town as they will look after the customers. Yeah. So for example, here we're at Barton Rouge in Chester. Yeah. Fantastic Indian food. They have a family knot, which yeah. is literally bigger than my belly, like, <laughs> like square footage wise. And it was fantastic. And the service was fantastic. Yes. The price was good. The food was, again, amazing. I mean, it was just really nice. And the thing is, it's not over with tourists. There's plenty of room for you to go. And there's all kinds of great places around you to get that food. And what are some, what are some other, like, I guess we could move on to, like, day trips. Like, yeah. people are going to be here in Liverpool. I mean, we're here in Chester, but if you're in Liverpool, you have to realize there's trends that go all over the place. Absolutely. Here. But where are some places you'd recommend people go? You can do day trips to, well, Chester's one place, 100%. Yeah. You can take the local train if you wanted to, or you can take the faster train. Now, once you come here, there's so much. You, you can stay, you can do the whole day here. Right. Restaurants, cathedrals. They got the Roman walk. ruins, they've got the yes. walls you can walk on, the rows, and yes. the, the. I mean, it's. One thing is well, beautiful. One thing as well here, that I don't know whether you've gone seen it, but Chester Zoo. Yes. People come up from all over oh, the world. Oh, the world. It's one of the most famous yeah, zoos in the world. One of the, yeah. one of the most famous zoos in England. So that's how popular it is. So if you can, can get to the zoo, the safari, not too far from here as well, you can yeah. go see. And the thing from Liverpool as well, Manchester's close by. Yeah. You can take, it takes 45, I think it's 35 to 40 minutes. On a train, take a day trip to Manchester, mm -hmm. go to North Wales as well. Yes, and that's beautiful. Different country. Up there. Yeah, different country. You don't need a passport. The north coast of, of Wales is just gorgeous when you go up there. Eat the mussels when you're there, because that's where the, the famous Welsh mussels yeah. are from. Um, and then there's, I mean, if you don't want to go even that far from the coast, you've got what, Southport, you can go see. Southport, yeah, absolutely. Um, is it Blackpool as you well? It's a little well, fire, yeah. but it's it's, doable. Further, but it's all doable. And it's, it's cost effective as well. Yes. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. And that's the, that's the beauty of it. If you're, if you're in London, there's a lot of cost to it, you see. That's one thing that I found when you go to, like, even if you go into a different town, it's, it's costly. You can go to Oxford, etc., but you're paying a lot of money. But here, you can go on a day trip for less than, let's say, £10 to, to Manchester and back. Yeah. And that's the beauty of it, you see. So, but the, I also want to tell you about Liverpool as well. The so one thing people might not know about the city mm -hmm. is it's a hot spot for Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Really? So the recent Batman, for example, yeah. with Robin Pattinson, the Liger building, if you, if anyone's watched it, when he jumps off and there's a big clock tower, yeah. that's actually the Liger building, and they passed it off as clock tower. <laughs> a lot of cool. it was filmed in Liverpool, so the, the cemetery scene at the end, it, sorry, it's a spoiler alert, but the, <laughs> scene, the cemetery scene at the end where, they, where they're driving off, or they're riding yeah. off in the motorcycle, that was in Liverpool. A lot of the scenes were all in Liverpool. Peaky Blinders, yeah. If you're a big fan of the Blinders, that's the majority of it is filmed in Liverpool as well. Oh, that's cool. They've passed off New York as well in Liverpool. Seriously, I'm not even joking here. So London is constantly passed off. They've done all sorts of things. Hollywood is a big hotspot for Liverpool. It's also because London is costly again. So yeah, so yeah come to Liverpool. It's got a lot of great things and the, the sea, and, and you've been there. The, the, it's remarkable, the yeah. sites and stuff. Oh, yeah. the sites are fantastic. Yeah, the beautiful. museums are there. And there's so many museums that are actually free in Liverpool as yes. well, which is just makes it even more cost effective. Yeah. I mean, you, you pay, I mean, I know you live here, so it's a little different, but as a traveler, for me, I was talking to people, I'm like, it, literally, I can get two weeks in Liverpool for the price of one week. Yes. For like five days in London. I mean, it's exactly. not even a joke. Absolutely, and that's the thing, you see. So up north, as I said to you, where we look after our, look after our people, really, and we want people to come back, and it's, London, yeah, it's great, it's the capital city, yeah. but you want to venture out. I, I always say, don't go to the capital, it's the same thing with any any country that I go to travel to. You don't just go to the capital, you, you venture out and see what else is out there, because you get the culture things, mm -hmm. you get to meet the local people, and... And that's another thing about the locals, the, the, the Scousers here. The, the Scout, Liverpool, you hear Liverpool, Liverpudlians, but real Liverpudlians, Scousers, yes. They are the most outgoing people. They're like, hey, mate, you need some? Like, yeah, they're, they're hilarious. The most friendliest people that you can ever find. Yeah. And they're very helpful as well. Generally, up north, again, I'm a London boy, by the way. Generally, up north, we're a lot more helpful. We're yeah. a lot more friendlier. And, and, and you'll see that. You'll notice that when you're around, just walking around. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And people will just say hi to you. Again, if, if sometimes when you're in London and you're in the, in the subway, people want you to say hi to you. They want you to look at you, make eye contact. Yeah, yeah everyone will say, you're right, mate. How's it going and stuff? Yeah. And, I mean, my accent isn't Scouse, 
but again, the Scouse accent as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they're, they're, they're so, it's so strong that sometimes you, I don't even understand it myself, but it, they're, they're so hospitable, it's a, it's a great place to come. So yeah. I can't see why people won't come. As a city, you've got the football stadium, you've got the tunnel, yeah. you've got some hidden gems, as I said. So lots of day trips around. Lots of day trips around, and the food here is great as well. Yeah. The pubs as well, we haven't even mentioned pubs. Yes, that's Some true. of the most amazing, but again, you get some amazing pubs with amazing drinks, and again, it's not too costly either. Again, it's yeah. very cost effective. So oh yeah, I, know, dues, I noticed the difference. Yeah, the dues of coming to England is come up to the north, come to Liverpool. Yeah, and I'll, I'll tell you, this is my first time coming to Liverpool, and I've been so impressed, and I've disappointed myself having not come up before. And, and I, got, I got to say, like, so when I travel around, I let people know where I'm going to go. The people from Liverpool have sent me more tips and more ideas and more anything that I just have to say thank you to all the, the Scousers and the Republicans and everybody, the Woolies, everybody from around here. Just thank you. It's been great. And Chefs, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. And tell them where they can find you. Yes, you can find me everywhere. Chefs the Wanderer at Chefs the Wanderer. Google it, up, you'll find it. Yeah, cool. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. See you later. We'll say bye from here in Chester, about a 45 minute sh like town train away, or a lot shorter on the fast train, or maybe a 20 minute, 25 minute drive from Liverpool. That's correct, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see you later. Bye.